Hello guys, I have here a set of Wasasi that I got recently. It's got 5ml uh, uh, sized uh, uh, perfumes. So you got yellow diamond, bright crystal, these are female perfumes. And you got uh, your, your fresh, which is a man's perfume, for home men's perfume, as well as the uh, classic famous clubbing Wasasi Eros. All right. So I think I paid about uh, US dollar 40, uh, 30 to 40 dollars thereabouts guys. That's, that's the price for this because it's relatively small size, a miniature set. And uh, for collectors like us, we, we do like to sort of, you know, uh, get uh, small ones and then, you know, uh, try to uh, really get to know the smell and then maybe make our final purchases. I know some people like to just buy the big, big, a size ones for me it depends sometimes i buy the original size ones and sometimes i uh, get small sets like this it, it just depends on my mood actually so uh, we'll go through them one by one after this to sort of uh, uh, judge each of them uh, uh, based on uh, their scent profile okay now we're going to have a look at the wasasi bright crystal all right see the name here bright crystal with the toilet light five mils one here well initially i was a bit taken back because the opening is a bit synthetic you know it's a bit uh, kind of a bit in fact can i would use the word toxic kind of feeling uh, but slowly it uh, dries down and uh, you start getting a more pleasant aroma coming out of it uh, i thought i smelled some cucumber and watermelon but apparently looking at the notes i was quite wrong uh, this was launched in 2006 by the nose of Alberto Moriras and uh, the the cucumber is, is described as ice so I don't know whether they're just using this fancy term ice I don't know how they can bring about the smell of ice does ice even have a smell not that I really know of so uh, they say ice I say cucumber right so the top notes are yuzu pomegranate and ice mid notes are peony lotus and magnolia and uh, base is musk mahogany and amber right so uh it, this gives me a cucumber watermelony kind of uh, vibe um and opening as i said was quite 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 uh, strong to the nose uh, but of course when once you sprayed within a few uh, seconds you you gonna lose the the strong opening there uh, so uh, what would i say about this so basically it's it's it, it projection is not not that that big and uh, uh, the duration it lasts on your skin is about I would say two three hours more or less at the maximum so um, what's my judgment as a man of this perfume what would i feel uh, as long as i don't smell the opening right off the bat um, the the dry down is quite reasonable quite decent quite neutral um reminds me of a bar because sometimes you know you you have your uh, cocktails you know you have your uh what's that that, that james bond drink i can often remember it um yeah uh, that that drink just bond drink you know sometimes they put an olive inside it or or uh, cucumber inside it right and it gives you a kind of a, a flavor a aroma there right so some some feelings along those lines and uh, yeah it's it's okay uh, it it will give me a vibe of a bit of a more serious girl uh, or maybe someone who works in an office uh, it's a bit more professional i would say Whereas um, earlier I was looking at the Wasasi Yellow Diamond, that's more of a fun, definitely a dating kind of a smell and this might work a bit better in an office setting. I think it's just my feeling, it's just my thought. Of course, you're free to disagree. This is a perfume, this is not some physics or, you know, legal or left brain engineering matter, right? So, uh, to his or her uh, own, okay? Uh, now, what I would say, uh, how, how much marks I would give this, I would give this about, say, uh, only a two out of five, right? Uh, I think the yellow diamond uh, is a they did a better job with that. Now, house of Wusasi. Okay, guys, that's my uh, comment as a man uh, on this uh, female perfume, Wusasi Bright Crystal. Yeah, you can see all the various ingredients of each of these perfumes and I'm also testing out my focusing of my lens uh, how, how fast it can adjust or adapt uh, to the changes